No. So the next thing we want to know is that everything we've been doing here, we've been doing really with the perspective view, with the default camera, right? Right now what we want is we want a new camera so we can add a slate to it, so we can move it around if we want to. So I want to show you how to add a new camera. To add a new camera, let me just, yeah. To add a new camera, you can just click on that. And once you click on there, you have two types of cameras. A camera with a target, which you don't need. Uh, that will always keep it in the center. But we want a regular camera. It's fine. Go ahead and get a regular camera. Now, when you get a new camera, you become the camera. So you have to kind of zoom out in order to see the camera, what it looks like. There it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, in order to go into the camera view and see what the camera sees, you go under cameras, scene, camera, and then camera. So now I see what I'm doing. So I can go ahead and get that going, get it right there. Actually, in this case, I think a target camera would be better. So I'll go ahead and get a target camera right there. And then I can go ahead and position that target camera this way. It can easily move back and forth. And it will always be looking at the center no matter what. That's what a target camera does, is always looking at the center. So this way, I can go inside my camera. Cicely, you're paying attention? So inside my camera, cameras, scene camera, and then camera. Now I can see my object, I can tweak it. And if I choose to, I can go back to my camera. How do I go back to my editor camera? It's just by going to editor camera, and I can choose to you know, move it up, move it down. So either way, to kind of get what you want. Okay, so now that we have the camera, the next thing we need to do is, I'm going to go back into my camera so I can see my object, um, is to go ahead and create a slate. 